The Siberian wilderness, unforgiving and majestic, lay shrouded in a thick blanket of snow. The town of Murkovka, tucked away in the far eastern reaches of Russia, was a place where human presence was dwarfed by the vast, unyielding landscape. Here, the winters were cruel, and the people, few and far between, had learned to live in harmony with the relentless cold. Vladimir Markov, a weathered man of 47, was one such inhabitant. He had spent his life mastering the art of survival in this harsh environment. But like many in this remote town, Vladimir had his secrets. He was a poacher, a man who ventured into the unforgiving wilds to procure meat that would sustain his family through the brutal winter months. On one bitterly cold December morning, Vladimir donned had his heavy fur coat, his boots creaking with every step as he made his way to his modest cabin nestled amidst the trees. The sun struggled to pierce through the thick cloud cover, casting an eerie gloom over the landscape. Vladimir was no stranger to the perils of the wilderness. He had faced off against wolves, tracked elusive game, and emerged victorious from countless skirmishes with nature's formidable denizens. But today, he was in pursuit of a grand prize, a massive boar that had been rumored to roam these woods. As he ventured deeper into the forest, the biting cold gnawed at his bones. But Vladimir's determination was unshaken. The tracks of the boar were fresh, and the prospect of a feast for his family spurred him onward. Hours passed, and the hunt intensified. Vladimir's senses were on high alert, his heart pounding in rhythm with the rustling leaves and the distant howls of the wind. He was closing in on his quarry, as Vladimir finally spotted his elusive target, a colossal boar, its fur matted with mud and its tusks gleaming menacingly. Vladimir's pulse quickened with excitement as he carefully took aim with his shotgun. He knew that this kill could provide his family with meat for weeks. With a deafening blast, Vladimir fired. The shot rang out, and the boar let out a guttural scream of pain before collapsing to the ground. Vladimir approached cautiously his shotgun at the ready. But what he found was not what he expected. The boar was indeed massive, but it bore the unmistakable signs of a recent kill. Its entrails had been partially devoured and deep claw marks on its hide. Vladimir's elation turned to confusion and unease. Who could have killed this beast before him? And why had they not claimed it? As Vladimir examined the carcass, a terrible realization washed over him. This was no ordinary kill. It was the tiger's work. The tracks in the snow around the boar's body left no room for doubt. The Siberian tiger, a creature of legend and terror, had claimed this prize. Fear crept into Vladimir's heart as he understood the gravity of the situation. He had stumbled upon the remnants of the tiger's kill, and in his haste and hunger, he had stolen its feast. Panic swelled within him, but he couldn't turn back now. He needed to return home with something to feed his family. Gathering what he could of the boar, Vladimir set off for his cabin, his senses on high alert. The forest seemed to close in around him, and every rustle in the underbrush sent shivers down his spine. He couldn't shake the feeling that he was being watched, stalked by an unseen presence. Back at his cabin, Vladimir Markov's knees persisted. He had laid out the stolen boar, but the fear that had taken root in his heart would not subside. The sun had long since disappeared behind the jagged peaks of the distant mountains, and the darkness of the Siberian night was upon him. As Vladimir stoked the fire in his meager hearth, a chorus of howls and the distant, mournful cry of the Siberian tiger echoed through the forest. His blood ran cold as he realized that the tiger, having discovered the theft of its kill, was now on the prowl. Outside the cabin, the world was bathed in an airy, silvery glow cast by the moon and stars. Vladimir, clutching his shotgun, peered out into the night. He could feel the tiger's presence, force lurking just beyond the circle of light cast by his cabin. Hours passed, and Vladimir remained huddled inside, his eyes never straying far from the darkness beyond his window. The tiger was patient, biding its time in the frozen night. It knew that Vladimir was trapped. The scent of fear lingered in the cabin like a noxious fog and Vladimir Markov knew that he could not remain trapped forever. His family depended on him, and he could not let them become victims of the relentless Siberian tiger that prowled outside. Vladimir's resolve hardened. He clutched his shotgun tightly, his hands trembling with a mixture of fear and determination. 
He had faced countless challenges in the unforgiving wilderness, and now, he would face the most formidable adversary of his life, as the first light of dawn began to break through the frigid night. Vladimir made his move. He had to confront the tiger before it could strike, for he knew that the beast would not relent until it had exacted its revenge. With cautious steps, he ventured outside, his breath forming frosty plumes in the icy air. The forest was quiet now, and the tracks left by the tiger's nocturnal patrols were fresh in the snow. Vladimir followed them, his senses sharp, his heart pounding. The tiger had not gone far. It had found a secluded clearing, and there, it lay in wait, its massive form blending with the snow-covered landscape, its eyes, cold and unrelenting, locked onto Vladimir as he approached. The standoff between man and beast was a battle of wills, a test of courage and determination. Vladimir raised his shotgun, aiming it at the formidable adversary before him. But the tiger did not flinch. It held its ground, its yellow eyes filled with an ancient, primal rage. Vladimir fired a warning shot into the air, hoping to startle the tiger into retreat. But the beast only growled, a low, menacing sound that sent a shiver down Vladimir's spine. It was clear that this tiger would not be intimidated. The seconds stretched into minutes, and still, Vladimir and the tiger remained locked in a deadly standoff. It was a battle of survival, a clash of two forces inexorably drawn together by the unforgiving wilderness they called home. With lightning speed and a deafening roar, the tiger lunged. Vladimir fired his shotgun, the blast echoing through the forest. But it was too late. The tiger's massive jaws closed around him, and the world became a male strong of pain and fury. Days passed since the fateful confrontation between Vladimir Markov and the vengeful Siberian tiger. When his headless and disemboweled body was discovered near his cabin, the town of Murkovka fell into a state of shock and mourning. Vladimir's family, now left without a provider, faced a bleak and uncertain future, but the tiger's thirst for vengeance was far from quenched. News of Vladimir's gruesome death spread like wildfire through the remote town, and fear hung heavy in the air. The beast had tasted blood, and it hungered for more. Days turned into weeks, and the tiger's reign of terror continued. Its next target was a young former soldier who had ventured into the same and forgiving wilderness that had claimed Vladimir's life. Armed with a rusty bolt action rifle, Andre believed himself to be a match for any creature that crossed his path. However, the tiger was not a creature to be underestimated. It had honed its skills, its instincts, and its unrelenting fury. As Andre ventured deeper into the forest on a hunting trip, he had no inkling that he was walking into the path of a relentless stalker. The encounter was swift and brutal. The tiger, a phantom in the snow-covered landscape, pounced upon Andre with the ferocity of a creature possessed by vengeance. Shots ring out, but the young man stood no chance. All that remained of him were blood-soaked clothing, a pair of abandoned boots, his watch, and a crucifix, a haunting testament to the tiger's savagery. The terror that had gripped the town intensified as news of Anne Ray's disappearance spread. Panic swept through the settlement, and Russian authorities mounted a desperate hunt for the elusive beast. The lead investigator, a grizzled veteran of the wilderness, was tasked with tracking down the vengeful tiger. He knew that the creature had become a menace that had to be stopped before more lives were lost. One fateful day, as the investigator and a group of hunters ventured deep into the forest, they encountered the tiger. The beast's fury was palpable, its yellow eyes burning with a thirst for retribution. A deadly showdown ensued, with shots echoing through the wilderness. The lead investigator barely survived the tiger's onslaught, his body bearing the scars of a battle that would haunt his nightmares for years to come. But his colleagues managed to bring down the creature, ending its reign of terror once and for all. The remote wilderness, once haunted by the ghostly presence of a vengeful beast, finally breathed a sigh of relief. The tale of the tiger's rampage and the chilling hours it spent outside Vladimir Marko's hut would forever be etched into the memories of those who lived to tell the harrowing story of survival and retribution in the heart of the Russian wilderness. And in the end, the legacy of retribution remained, a cautionary tale of the consequences of provoking nature's most fearsome predator.